All right, this is another example of a limit problem where you're going to have to do some, a little bit more complicated factoring. You might want to use some synthetic division to do your factoring or some long division. I'm going to show synthetic division in this video. Um, if I plug negative 5 in and try to solve this limit using substitution, if I plug negative 5 in here, I get 25 minus 25, which is 0. If I plug negative, 25, negative 5 in here, I get negative 125 plus 125. That's also 0. So I get 0 over 0. Well, that's not my answer. That just tells me if I get 0 over 0, 0 in the numerator, 0 in the denominator, there's a hole in the graph at negative 5. If there's a hole in the graph at negative 5, that tells me there is a common factor in the numerator and denominator of x plus 5. What I need to do is find the other factors and then simplify and then find the limit. So I'm still taking the limit as x approaches negative 5. So I'm trying to figure out when x gets very close to negative 5, when it approaches negative 5 from the left and the right, what does the value of this expression, which on a calculator you probably have that set equal to y, what does that equal? Well, the bottom, the top's not hard to, to factor. The numerator, if you factor it, is x minus 5, x plus 5, or vice versa. On the bottom, though, it's a little bit harder to understand how to factor x cubed plus 125. Right? It's, it's not a real easy process. You might know some type of formula for it. But for most people, it's easier to do some division. And I want to point out, if you had something like 27, and you knew one of the factors was 3, the way you could find the missing factor is take 27 divided by 3. 27 divided by 3 would give you 9, with a remainder of 0. The remainder of 0 tells me that 3 goes into 27 exactly 9 times. So the missing factor is 9. And the remainder of 0 tells me that both 3 and 9 are factors of 27. So using that same thinking, if I'm trying to factor x cubed plus 125, and I know one of the factors is x plus 5, to get this missing factor, I could, I could divide. I could take x cubed plus 125. Now to set this up, with I'm going to use synthetic division to do a division here. This is 1x cubed. There's 0x squared, there's 0x to the first, plus the constant of 125. If I'm trying to divide by x plus 5, I use the value that makes this 0, which is negative 5. I bring down the 1, I multiply by negative 5. I add those, I get negative 5. Negative 5 times negative 5 is 25. I add to get 25. I multiply negative 5 times 25 is negative 125. This last answer is my remainder. So I get a remainder of 0. Here's my constant of 25. My next term is negative 5x. My next term would be 1x squared. So by dividing, I figured out that that is my missing term, x squared minus 5x plus 25. So I'm going to put that missing term right here. This is called synthetic division. You could also use long division, but that's probably the quickest way to, to find the answer. Once you get, so this is kind of my scratch work down here. Up here I'm still finding the limit. Now I can cross off the x plus 5, because the x plus 5 is what's causing these, these numerators and denominators to come out to 0. If I cancel those out, now plug in negative 5, so I'll have negative 5 minus 5 over negative 5 squared minus 5 times negative 5 plus 25. The top answer will be negative 10 in my numerator. The denominator I'll get 25 plus 25 plus 25, which is 75. Reduce, divide both by 5. My answer is going to be negative 2 over 15. And so what that tells me is that when x, as x gets closer and closer to negative 5 from both the left and right side, the value of this expression is getting closer and closer to negative 2 15ths.